We're in the boiler room. I've stepped down. I'm not on the porch stoop. Welcome to 8 o'clock Tomato Talk. Actually, Kevin. Yeah. It's Potato Talk. We have a sign and everything. Check it out, guys. Today, we're not talking about tomatoes, though. I love tomatoes. See? Um, <clears throat> we have an expert here. He goes to USI. His name's Jarrett. He's in his what year? I'm in my second year. He's in his second year, so he's starting to learn. No, he brought me stacks of... Guys, I'm going to pour over this. This, I'm not going to spoil this because he's going to talk a little tiny bit about about <laughs> potatoes. And so today is 8 o'clock potato talk. We're actually going to talk briefly. I'm going to give a few fun facts. I'm going to turn it over to Jarrett. And then guess what? We're going to head out to the garden. And we're going to actually pick, hopefully, hopefully some potatoes. And they looked a little spindly, but I have hopes by the size of their stalks that they're really going to be kicking, kicking this year. First of all, a couple fun facts from the news desk. Did you guys, did you guys know potatoes were the first vegetable to be grown in space? Did you guys know, fact number two, the movie Martian was about Matt Damon growing potatoes in space? Funnily enough, actually, they could not grow on Mars simply because there's not enough organic matter. Everything else works out. The, por the percolates in the soil doesn't matter. None of that matters. Take not. take the soil, you bring it here, you put some organic matter in it, you could grow them completely fine. Okay. Exact same, except it's just a ton of iron and other minerals, just no organic matter. I did not know that. That is so cool. I'm glad I brought this up. This is working out really the good. The Martian is one of my favorite books ever. It's an amazing <clears throat> book. Everyone should go read it. I love the movie. Movie, movie holds up pretty well. Yeah, I thought it was fascinating how he was like trying to eat him raw and it was like giving him gas or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, he could probably tell us the science behind that, why how, the, the change that occurs when you put heat to a tater. Anyway, fact number three. Americans eat 124 pounds of potatoes a year, but are you German by descent? Yes. What's your last name? Beamant. That'll work. Um... Americans eat 124 pounds of potatoes a year, but Germans eat twice that much. So 248 pounds of potatoes a year. That's cool. That's why they have such industrious plumbing. <laughs> they need it. I never thought about that. I was thinking about that um, that uh, scene in The Hobbit where the where the uh, dwarves destroy the plumbing. Lord of the Rings. Of course. I did we have a, a Lord of the Rings I did a reference. speech in uh, about potatoes in my speech class <laughs> and my intro was the Lord of the Rings. The intro of the potatoes. Mash them, smash them, oh, boil them, put them in the stew. stew yeah. Shove them. That we'll have to edit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, okay, here we go. Fact number four. Eric Jenkins. From England, grew 300, you ready for this? Drum roll. Grew 370 pounds of potatoes from one plant. One, I don't know how he did that. If, if there was some cloning, I mean, okay, technically one plant. I'm going to look into that. Not that I don't believe that Eric did it. I want to do that. <laughs> All right, turning it over to uh, the expert. Potato, t the reason, yeah, potato talk today. So tell us a little bit about potatoes. Okay. Potatoes were originally grown, from what we can tell, by the Incans. The Incans were master botanists way, way, way before, way before the scientific in, like, renaissance throughout Europe. Way before that, they were making tons and tons of different potatoes. They would use terraces to grow different types of potatoes in different situations. They would do high on mountains with lots of water, high on mountains with, with no water. In sand with lots of water. In sand with little water. They had potatoes for every single situation you could ever have. Any Anything you could think of, they could do it. That is why, currently, there are 4,000 different types of potatoes. Most of them being wild, leftover from the Incans. They're that old. We, we have maybe 100 different types that we grow industrially. Very, very few compared to 4,000. Right. Uh, there are three different types. There are three 
regulated different types. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all purpose, which is like the Yukon Gold, for instance. The yellow yeah. ones, a good whatever you want to use it for. You can fry it. Russet it's not, it's not be... russet. Russet would be a starchy potato. Oh, gotcha. Um, starchy potatoes are good <clears throat> whenever you fry them or bake them. So basically, high heat for a long time. Um, then you got waxy, which is like all of your red potatoes. Yeah, the red right. Pontiacs and whatnot. Right. That's that. It's gotcha. good for whenever you cook it in like, like cook it with something. You know, in the oven. You know, a bunch of extra stuff in it. It cooks well that way. It's nice and creamy at that point. But like Yukon Gold, for instance, you can fry it. It's not the best fried. You can all you can do you can bake it. Not the best, but it's it's decent at everything. So it's good to have. I only grow Yukon Golds because I think they're the best. Because uh, you can use them for literally anything. You don't have to worry about anything else. Got it. Okay, so there's three basic kinds of potatoes. The fact that you're saying that we're down to about a hundred is no surprise. We're for, not down to a hundred. Well, we only grow. I mean, we only in, grow yeah. to a hundred. So we've limited ourselves. Mm-hmm. If because you take of, that picture, actually, that top one right there, you can see all the different crazy types of potatoes. Those see, are wild potatoes. The ro- I know this isn't black and white people, but, but this still. is a very colorful, crazy picture. There's reds, blacks, the purples, reds, there. whites, browns, everything. But, so it's not like you can't take a russet and do what you do with an all-purpose, but there you are can best... Do... Potatoes are the best thing ever. You can do literally everything. They have, they have tons of starch, which is good for your digestive tract. It's, it's actually starch... In a way that you can process it properly, not like the um, you know the Jerusalem artichoke is known to give you gas. Yes, yeah. Funnily enough, the Jerusalem artichoke is not related to artichokes or from Jer- Jerusalem. Mm-mm. Kind of, I don't know why it got that it name. Looks but it looks like got a flower name. on top, big uh, like a sunflower or a daisy kind it's, of thing. Yeah, it it is what it is. But that's known to give you gas. Potatoes, mm-hmm. on the other hand, are not. They are actually no. They are actually very very like many studies have been done that it is a very very good easily processed starch for you so it's good for you it's got actually it is the second best vegetable or thing to eat period if you can only eat one thing it is the second best only be now only be now by a sweet potato because the vitamin a and the calcium nice vitamin a and calcium yeah i'm growing sweet potatoes they're growing slow this year excellent they actually aren't related at all Sweet no, pot- I know sweet that. potatoes are part of the morning glory family, and potatoes are part of the Solene family, which is nice the same thing tomatoes. as tomatoes. Yeah, gotcha. So let me ask you this, or let me say this, uh, and you can throw in something. Um, you can eat sweet potato greens. Mm-hmm. I found that out. And it's like, ooh, my Do first not thought eat was potato greens though. That oh, will yeah. kill you. No, don't They're eat very those. poisonous. Don't eat berries. Don't eat the plants. It's very, very bad for you. Right. It will kill you. Yeah. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Let's talk about this. Real briefly, before we go okay. outside, I'm so, fascinated about this. Something that's really cool is the Colombian Exchange. We have agreed we're going to do a whole video on it because of how awesome it is. Mm-hmm. But potatoes were one of the ones that were brought back. The first time that they went to South America, they brought a bunch of different stuff back. Potatoes being one of them. Potatoes spread within 100 years, which is very, very rare back then. Within 100 years, it spread all throughout Europe because it was such like an easy plant to grow. Anyone could grow it. You could throw it. You could. It was. It was so easy that you would have a single potato that you would you would leave it out. You could cut it into multiple different pieces as long as there was a chit, which is the eye of the potato. It's, mm-hmm. it's called a chit. Just a piece um, of potato with the eye. You could throw that. It would make a whole new plant, and it would have a bunch more more potatoes. And you would just keep doing that over and over and over again. So out of one potato, you can have like four or five plants. Depends on a lot of different stuff, but you can have a bunch of different plants from it. So it's just a very easily available plant, but. But that's where that's that's when you get into problems. Blights happen. Mm-hmm. The Irish potato famine was from that. It was everyone had the same potatoes? A, a blight happened, and then mm-hmm. a lot and of once them, that one potato went, they all went because there was not a diversity. Well, even uh, some people would pick a would pick would pick a potato that had blight but was not showing signs yet, and then they, they would mix it in it, with yeah. all of the other potatoes. People would buy the seed potatoes. Right. They would have blight, and it would just spread. All, it stays in the ground. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. But that was the first, with that, that was the first use of recorded fungicide and, like, overall just more understanding mm-hmm. of how that stuff. And so nowadays we have different techniques. I'm glad he touched on that. We do standard farming practices with potatoes in this country, just like any other standard farming practices for wheat 
and soybeans and corn and stuff like that. But there's also organic ones, which I'm trying to promote. So I'm glad you touched on that. Rotation of crops in your garden is a good thing. Keep the nightshades in one spot and the next year move them. Let that soil rest, put in lettuce or something from that family or, or, um, uh, or, or the corn family Beans or whatever. Brassicas an insanely good Beans to combo brassicas. because the brassicas the have all the nitrogen fixing yeah. and then the brassicas go in, yeah. they take nitrogen up, and then it just, it, you yeah. can go back and forth very easily. That's so, what I do. So beans, excellent, good idea. Because they don't use a ton of nitrogen, but they fix it in the ground through the bacteria that they have a you know symbiotic relationship. Uh, let's get back to taters. Before we head outside, tell me about this, this here. We didn't talk about the migration yet, did we? We mm -hmm. did, mm -hmm. okay, we did, yeah. The mm -hmm. migration up from Central America. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to cut the film. This is good. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First take and everything. Yeah, that's it. That's the way I like it. Uh, but um, we're going to head outside now. I'm going to cut the film, and we're going to get the, the, the take the camera with us, and we're going to head out to dig a potato, and fingers crossed, we're going to get some killer crops. So see you in a little bit. All right, we're going outside now. Let's go, Jarrett. What was that door? I was in the door, Kevin. I wasn't raised in a barn. I was raised outside of a barn. <laughs> it's it's hot out here, by the way, guys. Just a little weather report. I'm guessing what 75% humidity. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> and and I'm guessing pushing 90. So it's summer, but things are going good out here. Gotta love Indiana. Gotta love Indiana. Okay. All right. So guys, let me flip this around. Here's the taters. You know, we've done a little garden tour, so you know these. These are looking pretty good. Which one should we pick? That one right there. Where? On the edge. This guy? Yeah. All right. You want to get a fork, mm -hmm. or do you want to just pull? Where is that? Right there, sticking in the ground. I'm blind. Straight ahead by that green oh, sideways water can. And it's stick, sticking up in the ground. <laughs> oh, That's there, right. okay. <laughs> you were kidding, right? No. <laughs> Guys, you know, this is the expert, but it's I didn't say he knew her. No. All right. I just use my hands like a man. Go ahead, man. Man hands. Oh, okay. All right. There is one, and that. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, guys. All right. More. Oh. That's all right. No, it's okay. We did a bonus plant. So we did two plants. Two plants. Anything else down there? I'll try to save this one here, though. So, you know, not. That's super amazing. It was early, you know. It was early. Okay, so they would have gotten bigger, right? You're saying? Absolutely. No, it would have gotten <clears throat> way more. You could see all the little tiny ones on there. So oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. It was still growing. So and nothing. This clay. That, that's that's hindering it too. I know. I know. And you I put this. Up. I put that right on top of the hugo culture because I was needing field dirt. So not bad. I mean, well, not great actually. We got four potatoes from two plants. It's way too early to do them. I I have potatoes. I'm not. I'm not picking them for. Like a month probably. I, I got I got a long time. So we're we're really looking at these being able to actually. Well, but look how big these got. That's a pretty big potato. They're, yeah. they're supposed to be about this size whenever you grow. Yeah, it's that's a pretty decent size. It's way too early to actually have gotten like a, a ton. But right. so we would have gotten more. Also, in don't numbers don't too. don't plant on clay like Kevin. He doesn't. I did what? Yeah, I'm I'm improving. Each year's an improvement. You should have seen last year. So, okay, cool. So we've done it. That's pretty much gonna conclude. You can see we've got squash growing in the middle there. Our potato thing, guys. I hope you got a lot out of that. Thanks, Jared, for joining us. Absolutely, it's fun. It was fun, he's, he's good. We've talked about this at work. We both work at Home Depot. Uh, we've talked about it for weeks, and I'm so glad we got to do this. It it's actually been turned out. It's been months at this point. It's been months, yeah. It's been months. We've been talking about yeah. it. Yeah, you were I, able Because we were talking about it when I was still in like school. <laughs> Like, oh, during the yeah, school year, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's it's been that long, mid July, yeah, and so early July, yeah, cool. All right, Kevin, from eight o'clock to eight o'clock, eight o'clock to eight o'clock, eight o'clock, Jared from eight o'clock potato, potato talk. Potato talk, that's right. No wonder I couldn't pronounce it. Eight o'clock potato talk. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye bye. Peace. A little addition, guys. We found a bonus one. This is your. Biggest of the original four he picked. Look at that. Yeah. Big potato. Big.